Madam President, ladies, gentlemen, colleagues, graduates, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you one of the world's most remarkable and gifted musicians. He's a hereditary musician from a long lineage of West African master artists known as Jelly or Griot. And he was born and lives in Mali, a country that's famous for its music, and that's in no small measure thanks to him. His instrument is the Kora, a 21-string harp of the Mande people, whose history dates back to the great Mali Empire in the 13th century. Until the 1970s, the Kora was hardly known outside the region, but it's come a long way since then. It's now one of the most iconic instruments, not just from Africa, but of world music in general. Through the work of this great maestro, it's crossed over into classical, popular, jazz, electronica, and so many other kinds of music. There's not a chora player in the world who wouldn't acknowledge his influence. Our awardee has more than 15 solo albums to his name, with two Grammy Awards, two Grammy nominations, and many prestigious international prizes and accolades. No one can quite match his astonishing dexterity and lyricism, with the possible exception of his son, whom we also welcome amongst us today. Despite his many collaborations with the likes of Damon Albarn and Bjork, our awardee is a traditionalist. Griot Music receives very little official support from the Malian government, so he does what he can to pass on his knowledge and skills to the new generation. This combination of conservation and boundary pushing is rooted in his family history. Both his father, the late legendary Sidiki Jebate, who in his time was known as the king of the Kora, and his great uncle, Amadou Bansang Jobate, were among the first chora players to attract international attention to this unique harp. And it all started here at SOAS. SOAS has a long history of cutting edge scholarship on Mande culture, languages, oral history, architecture, and music. The first International Manding Studies Conference was hosted right here at SOAS in 1972, and it was opened by the president of Senegal, Leopold Sedar Senghor. The list of the some 300 scholars, writers, politicians, and musicians who took part reads like a who's who of 20th century African scholarship. One of the notable musicians who participated was none other than the father of our awardee, Sidiki Jebate. He even had the honor of performing at number 10 Downing Street for the prime minister of the time, Edward Heath. And I'm fairly sure that this was the only time the Cora has ever been played live in number 10 Downing Street. But if you know otherwise, do let me know. In tracing the international trajectory of the Cora, I must give a special thanks to one of my predecessors, the late Dr. Anthony King, who taught African music here at SOAS. In 1970, uh, under a scheme that was uh, very enlightened, alas, no longer exists, but it was called the familiarization uh, scheme, he was sent off to the Gambia for a year to study the Cora. And this was at a time when very few people outside West Africa had even heard of the instrument. It was thanks to Dr. King's exquisite recordings that entirely by chance, I was introduced to this music, and particularly to the wonderful playing of the father and great uncle of our awardee. Absolutely, utterly bewitched, I abandoned everything. I went to the Gambia and eventually onwards to Mali where I had the good fortune to meet our awardee. Nothing could have prepared me for this encounter. Our awardee was only 21 years old at the time, one year for every string on the Cora. But I knew immediately that he was destined to become a great star. In his hands, sublime and dazzling melody poured out of those 21 strings with soul and fire. I managed to get him into a recording studio 
where in a single afternoon, he put down the tracks of Kaira, the first ever solo Kora album, and it's still a bestseller. This marked the beginning of the Kora's ascendance into the realm of world-class instruments. On his latest Grammy-nominated album, our awardee performs instrumental Kora duets with his son, also named Siriki Jabate, revisiting the old forgotten classics of the Jabate ancestors, but in a new contemporary voice. The music department of SOAS is indeed privileged to have forged such a long-lasting connection with the Kora and with this Kora player who's done so much to bring the beauty and timelessness of African music to the world. We're honored to bestow on this world-class musician an honorary doctorate in music. To the best of my knowledge, the only other African musician to receive an honorary doctorate in the UK is the great veteran South African trumpeter, Hugh Masekela, and that was last year. SOAS, for that matter, has only ever presented one honorary music degree doctorate before, and that was to none other than Daniel Barenboim. So our new doctor of music is in august company, and once more at the forefront of African culture. Madam President, it is my privilege now to present for the award of honorary doctorate in music and to invite him to address this assembly, Tumani Jebate. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> um, I'm very happy. I normally speak uh, French. My English is really bad. So <laughs> she's here to help me. Mami, thank you very much. Uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And congratulations to you. <laughs> and to you. <laughs> uh, pour moi, c'est prière pour toute l'Afrique et pour tout le monde. Approche-toi un peu après okay. je vais traduire. Ok, pour moi, ce prix est pour tout le monde entier, puisque au soir aujourd'hui, je viens de constater que le monde entier est là. Uh, this prize is for him and for the whole world because he's just seen today that SOAS comprises the whole world. Thank you. Um, je veux parler de l'éducation. I want to speak of education. L'éducation est très importante dans la vie. Et dans le livre saint, on a, la première des choses qu'on a dit, Ikra, on a dit, il faut apprendre. In the holy book, the very first thing that is said is Ikra, which means lire. you must read. Read, educate. L'éducation, elle est très importante, surtout la transmission de père en fils, de la famille, et donner un bon exemple. Education is extremely important, in, in, and also the transmission of knowledge from father to son uh, through the family. One thing is clear. We must know that where you start your knowledge, that is the point of departure for other people. One thing is very clear. Wherever your own knowledge ends, that's the point of departure for someone else. Ça veut dire tout simplement qu'on ne connaît pas et qu'on doit continuer à éduquer, à être éduqué et à apprendre. 
which is to say that uh, one can never learn, one can never know everything, so one has to continue to learn, to study, and to be educated. Personne n'oublie aujourd'hui, censé ignorer ce qui se passe dans le monde aujourd'hui. Le conseil que je vous le donne, il faut qu'il soit un bon exemple que cette grande cérémonie avec toutes les familles, avec toutes ces bonnes, les, les, les VIP, les personnalités, ne doit pas être seulement une cérémonie qui se passe ici. Nous avons payé pour venir éduquer, pour venir apprendre aux choses, mais le monde a besoin d'un bon exemple aujourd'hui, puisque personne n'ignore ce qui se passe aujourd'hui dans le monde. Uh, he, he hopes that this, today's ceremony is, is uh, just one part of something that will continue um, because everyone knows what's going on in the world today and you have a very important role to play to set an example. Donc, on dit aussi, pour terminer, je veux dire que j'ai amené mon fils pour vous montrer euh, un exemple frappant qui est là et qui va jouer avec moi et voir que la tradition, comment on le garde. Parce qu'aujourd'hui, on a mis dans le monde, la situation économique devant, on a mis l'éducation derrière et l'enseignement. Um, so, uh, the last thing he would like to say is that he has come here with his son, who is a, a good example of someone who is continuing, to whom he's passed on the tradition, who is continuing this wonderful tradition of Kora music. Um, because today, in nowadays, we put economics before, we place the importance of economics before education. Il faut qu'on renverse la tendance et j'aimerais que cette génération qui vient, euh, c'est euh, ce groupe qui est là, qui va sortir, et qu'on qu mène un mouvement qui va amener ce changement ensemble. So he... Um, uh, puts his trust in you, in this generation, in you graduates, to, uh, to create a change in the world. Merci beaucoup, Aswas. Merci. Thank you very much for putting the Kora here. It's the first time. Thank you so much.